Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for March 6, 2019. Hey, I'm running just a little bit behind this morning. I had a little computer problem which wiped out my blog report. I had to write it twice. So I apologize. This is just a little tiny bit late, later than normal uh, this morning. Let's take a look at the overall market. First off, if we take a look, we're still trying to test right in here. We're, we're struggling right here with um, this market um, resistance in the chart. And those resistance levels are certainly playing out to be a little bit tougher than I think anyone wants them to be. So we'll, we'll want to watch that closely. Now, yesterday was one of those just really mind-numbingly boring days. If we take a look um, from our open, we ended up moving an entire, about a buck and a half, about a buck and a half the entire range yesterday, closing just nine cents down on the from the open. Um, really mind-numbingly boring yesterday, just lots of chop. Now, a person needs to be really, really careful when we're in a choppy situation like that. It's so easy to become bored and then over-trade that dull market. Um, Remember, oftentimes, if we're going to get a news report that really moves the market, that oftentimes that occurs overnight. That we get that big gap up or that big gap down um, created from that uh, from that event. And right now, the market is just waiting. We're waiting to hear something um, on um, trade negotiations between U.S. and China. If that report were to happen after the market close, we could certainly see that big move occur in the overnight session. And we want to be careful not to be overly trading this market, having too many positions, because we don't know which way that might move um, on that report. It, and, you know, what... It could easily come out and say, hey, you know, look, we're still running into struggles. It's going to be another two weeks. The market would not like that. Um, so we don't know what that report might be. And so we're going to have to be careful here on, uh, and watch ourselves to not over trade such a dull market. Currently, the futures are pointing to a modestly lower open, and they've recovered about half of their overnight losses so far this morning. Um, so watch that closely. If we start pushing lower, we could start breaking down through some of those little support levels intraday and um, finding some sellers coming in if that are, that's the case. Let's take a look at um, the SPY here real quickly. SPY really in the same situation, just banging its head against its resistance and struggling right here, waiting for something to give us the energy to, to, to shove on through or to break down below this little tiny level of support right here. So watch that close. We're just wedged here between a rock and a hard place. And um, we're going to be subject to any news report that could fly us um, around today. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the Qs. QQQ. Um, QQQ actually held up better than about in, uh, all the indexes yesterday. Trying to push back up here, just barely closing um, positive on the day, up 13 cents as we continue to test these resistance levels up here. And here we are, we're wedged between that price resistance and this price support. And the market just continues to chop around in that very, very tiny range. So watch that close. And once again, stay really focused to the price action because. Any news report could really send us reeling in either direction. We want to be careful not to overtrade such a dull market. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, um, it kind of made a decision yesterday to push on lower and uh, is not showing really good signs here this morning. It may actually break the low of, of, of that big 400 point move down day that we had in the Dow may break that low um, today. So nothing terribly uh, bearish here because we have a support level right in here to watch and hopefully um, IWM can catch that support if we do push lower this morning. Keep in mind, we still have significant levels of resistance above 
to be paying attention to in the chart. So watch that close. Let's take a look at the VIX. VIX so far had a little bit of a bump yesterday, but so far has held on to this resistance level that I've been pointing out over and over and over. As long as we stay below there, I think we're going to be okay. Once again, the real danger on the VIX is if we were to break above that level and then hold it as support, seeing uh, seeing some of that fear creep in. So we don't want to see that occur, but let's watch that closely as we approach that resistance level. If that resistance does its job and we hold right in here, we could easily start pushing back down. And it would probably only take a positive news report about the trade to uh, maybe make that occur. So watch that close. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. Yesterday with all the really slow price action and, and shoving around that happened, just a lot of program trading going on, we ended up finishing about right here in the middle, pretty close to that 50% level here in the middle. The good news in that is that gives us room to the move to move to the upside it also leaves the door open for the opportunity to move on down toward that bearish reversal zone so anything can happen here and that's all t21 is telling us as we do we've opened up the opportunity for an upside move but we still have an opportunity for a downside here in the market so stay really really focused to that price action trying not to trade your bias just focus on what the price is doing and move with the market if it does decide to pick a direction here today tomorrow whenever that might be let's take a look at um, our economic calendar today on our economic calendar we have a few things that could move us around this morning we have the ADP report now this isn't nearly as important as it used to be we just it seems to miss uh, miss the number so many times but we do want to pay attention to that if they were to come in uh, bearish or, or very bullish that could certainly affect how the market will trade this morning the bigger report's going to be the international trade uh, numbers here. So watch that number at 8.30 and then, of course, 10.30 EIA Petroleum Status Report always has, has the potential to move uh, the market around um, if we get some kind of surprise build or supply, surprise decline in, uh, in those oil reserves and supplies. That certainly can affect um, a big sector of the market, those oil and gas companies. So watch that closely. We have a couple Fed speakers here today. Prior to the beige book I wouldn't expect that to move the market around at all but uh, watch those uh, we want to always pay attention when we have Fed speakers if something uh, someone says something that surprises the market it can really change things so a few things to stay on our toes we have a, over 120 companies reporting earnings today and those earnings are, are rolling in this morning so not seeing any massive changes in uh, the futures uh, at the moment. Currently, Dow futures are up, or excuse me, are down about 60 points. Just looking for that modestly lower open this morning. We'll have to wait and see if there's any sellers that actually support that gap down, pushing it even lower after the open. Um, with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons. Leave a comment. And please, 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 if you feel the video is worthy, do me a favor. Post it on your Facebook. Post it on Twitter. Help me um, share this video with other folks. I truly appreciate that. Leaving those comments and, and clicking those thumbs up buttons helps those algorithms show these videos to more people. So everyone who does that, you guys are the best. Thank you for taking the time to do it. It means a lot to me. And I do try to answer every single one of your, um, your comments. So thank you very much. So with that, let's take a look at... at a few things that are moving around and a couple of charts that you might want to have on your list. 
um, to be paying attention to. Remember, any charts that I bring up during this video, they are not recommendations for a trade. They are merely an idea, uh, something that you might want to keep an eye on and um, put on your watch list. So yesterday we had some good moves in some of the um, some of the cannabis stocks, and as you can see, Crone really nice pop out of this consolidation. I need to move this trend line now. And as you can see, we had this nice little pop up, a little tight consolidation right here, and then pow, popping up through here, um, looking good. Watch the, res excuse me, watch this resistance um, above. Um, we we wanna be always cognizant of resistance above, but that's looking really, really good. Another chart in that same sector, ACB. ACB, beautiful trend line hold, beautiful Morningstar type pattern popping on through. We want to watch this price resistance right in here, but boy, that starts popping out of there. ACB looks really, really good. You might want to keep an eye on it. You could also look at MJ, MJ being uh, the ETF um, on uh, these stocks, and you can see MJ pushing right up here, trying to pop through this resistance level. Watch that closely if we get a little more price action in there that could pop us on through that level and and could look pretty good um, on the short side you might want to take a look at Home Depot Home Depot whoops I'm on a two-day chart there Home Depot um, showing a little bit of consolidation right here holding on but in um, in a kind of a bearish pattern because we broke down through support so any failure through this level right here could certainly send a um, send us lower here in Home Depot. Watch that closely. Um, it's also right in that same place. If the buyers decide no, Home Depot is worth more, they could bounce off of that level. So it's worth keeping um, a pretty close eye on. Um, stocks like MDLZ, kind of the defensive company stocks, um, kind of interesting yesterday, a little bit of choppiness here in those defensive stocks, holding up relatively well, um, trying to hold on to this price support. So I'm watching MDLZ DLZ and this little consolidating move. If that could actually pop through my alert up here, I might be interested in MZ, M, MDLZ. And keeping that theme going, you might want to take a look at PepsiCo. PepsiCo consolidating over here toward its trend. We want to watch that closely, but PepsiCo tried to make a little bit of a move yesterday, just didn't quite get her done. Um, so you might want to keep an eye on a stock like PepsiCo uh, because it's starting to show those nice consolidation signs, uh, possibly an opportunity to uh, move higher here. So with that, everyone, hey, I'm going to call this one, uh, this video um, over just because uh, uh, it is running late here and I want to get it um, out to you as soon as possible. So everyone have an awesome, awesome day. Uh, be really careful out there today. Be careful. Remember not to over trade a dull market. Um, big moves can happen on any news reports and we're going to want to be really, really cautious and very disciplined in what we do. Watch that price action closely and stay focused to it without um, a bias. We really want to focus in and see which way this market decides to move. Remember, there could be knee-jerk reactions during the day uh, based on news reports, and those knee-jerk reactions can be really damaging to an account if you jump too fast and are not focused to that price action. So watch those things closely. Everyone out there that's struggling as a trader, please understand, hey, I've been there. I understand that pain. Um, Believe me, it's worth doing. Uh, continue to study, continue to work, continue to focus on that price action and um, really dig in because it's worth the effort once you get, uh, get it figured out. Everyone take care. Have an awesome day. I'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bright and early, bright and early Thursday morning. Have a good one.